Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit does this thing go now. Right, the throttle curve. The start off is a bit a bit bit lumpy, uh, should I say. Um, I'm only going on a slow ride, so oh shit. I'm only intending on going on a slow ride. Is this open? No, it's shut. Bollocks. Uh, there's no cars around because it's six o'clock in the morning, so the camera work, the video quality is going to be pretty shit. Uh, but you get the idea. Wow, the acceleration's f***ing hell! 30. 32. Thirty-two mile an hour. Oh my god, the acceleration's good. The acceleration is really, really, really good. I've got that floor space back that I was so missing. I reckon at the minute this power, I mean that's uh, 140, well 1500 watts, I've limited it. I did actually bottle out and I knocked it down to 1500 watts. Um, The brake doesn't need increasing, but not a lot, to be honest. With the phase runner, I've noticed a couple of things. Uh, the acceleration isn't as sort of jumpy as the Sabvaton. And also the brake, the brake's a lot more linear. With the Sabvaton, it used to, like, it used to really pull you. Well, this thing, because it's actually a Hall Sense brake, uh, so it's, pretty, it's supposedly progressive, um, you can actually pull it in just a touch and it's fine. This is quite a steep hill and I'm pulling 1500 watts and to be honest uh, the regen braking I've turned off because you're never ready for it. Never ready. So I've set it so it only comes on with the, th the, uh, the brake. Never been round here. Have I? I've lived in these, this place bloody hell for 20 years and I've never been around here. I don't know where around here is. Full power, 1500 watts. Brake. That works so much better, that brake. So much better. Oh yes, overall I am very happy with it. Thank you very much. Wasn't worth the bloody money though. I think I paid about two, what, it was 299 quid. And you don't get a sodding programming lever for, with it, a uh, lever. You don't get a, uh, <laughs> you don't get a programming lead with it. That's a bit shit. Yeah, I'll see what everyone means about this uh, state of charge thing. It doesn't half help really does help. I think when I do version 3 of the app uh, I'm gonna have, there's gonna be dials. I like dials, like VU dials and stuff like that. Rather than having just numbers I think it may be, I might be able to get it to switch. I mean I'm not, I'm not a bloody genius at programming, I don't, you know, I muddle my way around and, and do my best. So I'm definitely no programming genius. Just check the Motor temp, bloody hell! That that brake really does pull well. That's warm. It's not hot. Oh yes, I, I really do. I prefer this phase runner. I prefer this phase runner to the Savaton for this. It's it's a, a completely different world. Let's go up the bloody pavement. I prefer the phase runner to the Savaton for this sort of application, it's so much smoother. Uh, if you're thinking of getting a, an e-bike or, you know, an e-scooter and modifying it and putting a stupid controller on it, get a phase runner. Now they're expensive, but bloody hell, they're not worth the money. The installation was a piece of piss. Uh, I didn't do any wiring diagrams or videos or anything else because it's so straightforward, it's unreal. And the setup of it, there's a button that says auto-tune, 
it does its bit, scares the shit out of you a bit because of the noises it makes but it goes through it all itself so the setup is a piece of piss, the wiring is a piece of piss, everything is a piece of piss so I really do recommend the phase runner the other one was a bit uh, 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 uh. it was always trying to take off with you, it's like a bloody it was like a Formula One car, it was always trying to take off with you, it just wouldn't go slow. But this... The acceleration, and the brake still needs a bit of tweaking, definitely needs a bit of tweaking. Right, here we go. Ooh. Oh, they've opened the gate. Lovely. Yeah, we had a tornado the other night and it was very bad. Uh, there's gusts of about 80 mile an hour. Uh, Chloe's never seen a tornado before. And I sent a text to my mum and she said, oh, I've never seen a tornado before. Oh, alright. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Am I the only one? Right, let's slow down. Oh, God, bloody hell. Let's slow down. Let's see what the acceleration's like now. Brake. That brake! Bloody hell, that's fantastic! <laughs> well, for an e-brake to lock a back wheel like that and there's been no tuning at all and I ain't going through that that ain't bad that really isn't bad does it still do burnouts? Oh no, wheelies. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Does it wheelie? Oh, shit, yes it wheelies. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> that could have ended badly. Brake. Oh yes, I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with this. I think I'm, I'm, I might put the power up. I might knock it up to, what is it, 1.8 kilowatts. It's on about 1500 at the minute. We'll just stop down here and check the motor temp after having it, giving it a bit of, bit of stick. Yeah, brake still works all right. Yeah, it's getting warm there. On the other one, what used to happen on the Sabaton? I put my side stand down. On the Sabaton, when I put the the e brake on, I mean, it used to come on, and it was quite violent. It wouldn't, it wasn't progressive as such, although it should have been. Um, and then every now and again, it'd start fading. Uh, usually, when you're trying to slow down, which ain't very good. Believe me, it's not very good. Especially when your arse is bloody tighter than a camel's thing in a sandstorm. Anyway, this doesn't doesn't suffer with it. It doesn't suffer with the same problem. So, I'm... Um, at the minute, I'm really impressed. Although it looks like we've got um, ferrofluid coming out. I thought I'd sealed all those holes up. <sighs> Lovely. <laughs> Nose is running there. State of charge, 
I do like that. <laughs> Cell voltages. Four volts each. Lovely. In case you haven't noticed, I've released um, VBMS 215. Uh, that went out on rollout last night, so hopefully. Stop all you moaning bastards saying, When's it going to be released? I want to stay to charge, and where's the fax screen? Yeah, I've been asked. When I'm going to release it, because they want the FAQ. So the other good thing about this is, the e-brake doesn't stop. When you've got it on, it stays on until you've stopped. Um, the Sabaton used to stay on until about five miles an hour, and then it, it just cuts out. Clear. Oh yes, it's much better. Oh, the acceleration's better. You ready for it? Uh, the brake's better because you're ready for it. It is actually regen braking, so you know it's not. I'm not losing any power. The road's too busy, so I'm going back. This was only a test drive. Well, there's nothing on the roads. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end it again here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be back next time. Doing more. I've got some tuning to do on this. A few modifications. And then I'll be back out. So I'll catch you next time. And remember, life is definitely worth living on this measly earth. All you've got to do is find something that you can enjoy every single day. Get out there, enjoy it every single day. And bollocks to what anybody else thinks. <laughs>